Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. And hello, well, not just yet, but today we are heading out to Aquatica, which is SeaWorld's water park, not Discovery Cove, which that video is coming up. Stay tuned for that. But today is going to be all about Aquatica and welcome back to Water Park Week. Now get this, I have never been to Aquatica at SeaWorld Orlando. Today will be my very first visit. You know, I've known about this water park for years. I've had it on my past for years, but I've never had the urge to go to Aquatica. But today is the day just because like over the years, I've heard a mixture of good and bad reviews on Aquatica. So I'm looking forward to seeing how I like this water park for myself. And their advertising is this is Orlando's best water park. We'll see about that today. They have some stiff competition right down the street at Disney and of course at Volcano Bay. But I have heard they have some really good water attractions. I believe they just opened a new attraction called Reef Plunge or something like that. Plus I'm looking forward to checking out their Lazy River. You guys know me, I love Lazy Rivers and I'm just excited and I'm ready to have some fun. Let's hop in the car and get over to Aquatica. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. All right, we just made it here to Aquatica, but look at this. They have these signs all throughout the parking lot saying outside coolers, food and drinks are not allowed. Looks like right now they are celebrating 15 years of fun. If you were curious about ticket pricing, here you go. A single day ticket will cost you $100 or you can get a fun card. Of course, you can purchase multi-park tickets. It looks like they have the all-day dining deal, just like they have over at SeaWorld and Bush Gardens, where you can dine every 90 minutes. Adults are $45 and kids are $25. And this includes an entree, a drink, and a dessert every 90 minutes, all day. So I'm a past member here, and every time I visit any SeaWorld park or Busch Gardens Park, I love to come over to the kiosk to see if I have any available rewards. And sure enough, I do. I have two quick cues that I can use today at Aquatica. I mean, how cool is that? And if you are visiting here with the kiddos, if you are wondering how tall do you have to be, here you are. Looks like just about everything. You have to be at least 48 inches. There's some 42 inches and 36 inches down here pretty standard. Okay, I have officially made it inside of Aquatica. And like I mentioned, this is my first time ever inside of this water park. It looks pretty big. Looks like there's a lot to do. Ooh, do they have a Starbucks? Oh no, it says we proudly serve Starbucks. That's still pretty cool. And then over here, looks like they have a ton of different places to eat and then a few bars to choose from. Oh my goodness, I just heard they have dolphins. You can do a dolphin encounter here. What is this water slide? This looks awesome. Look, you go under the reef it looks like right here. Okay, yeah, this is Reef Plunge, which is their newest water attraction here. And this is it right here. I think I will definitely try to use my quick cue for this water attraction later. There's some nurse sharks. There's some fish in here, and that's the water slide. That's Reef Plunge. Hello there. That is so cool to me that they have a water slide that goes through a reef. They said there's dolphins in here somewhere. I have yet to see the dolphins. Passing by Waterstone Grill, which is one of their main quick service restaurants. You can find fish sandwiches, chicken tenders, burgers, salads, kid meals, and beer and wine. I had no idea it was their 15th anniversary. Looks like I'm coming up on the main beach here, but they have a bar front and center called Montu's Beach Bar. These are all $13.99. Must have valid ID to order drinks. Two drinks per valid ID. All guests must be present. And then just like over at SeaWorld, no matter what you purchase here at Aquatica, they will automatically add taxes and a 5% surcharge. Here's the main pool. I believe this is their wave pool, even though there's no waves going right now. And there's also a giant clock right there, so you know what time it is. This attraction looks awesome. I wonder why this pool is closed currently. 
but it looks like the main pool is split so this side is open and this side is not. I want to quickly pop my head inside one of their beach cabanas because they look pretty nice. I mean, they look just like the other cabanas that you can rent at the other nearby water parks, but this is a really good option to have. Looks like it's completely shaded. You do have curtains that you can close for extra privacy, a fan with a light. Looks like you have a refrigerator stocked with bottled water, a locker, a trash can, two loungers, a table, and just standard beach chairs. And not that far away from the beach cabanas, looks like you have another option for premium seating. It's a clamshell, just like we had the other day over at Disney's Blizzard Beach. You have a pair of lounge chairs and it's shaded. And then you have your own little area. However, it's not like gated. It's not separated from the other. Like there's the standard lounge chairs that anybody can grab. I always see this when I'm passing by Aquatica on the highway and now I get to see what it actually looks like. It's called Ihoo's Breakaway Falls. And then from what I can see, they look like drop slides. Let's check out the locker situation. My goodness, the price for a standard locker, $20, and the price for a large family locker, $30. Looks like these are the family lockers, and then you have the standard lockers. Right next door, you can find the first aid station. I'm pretty sure this is the kitty area, but right now it's not open because looks like they're doing some renovations. Turi's Kid Cove coming soon. An all new water adventure attraction filled with watering palms, tipping buckets, spraying jets, water bobbles, and more. The two main pools are just right here. That's the pool that's closed. And I mean, look at all of the open lounge chairs here on the main beach. It just doesn't end. And then if you have the kiddos, make sure you bring sand buckets and toys for them to play in the sand. I'm now walking by the Mango Market, and this is a grab and go, I guess, quick service restaurant. Looks like you can place a mobile order on the Aquatica app. Let's head inside and see what they have. Hello, for kids, you have chicken tenders or a hot dog, and then for your main entrees, a barbecue sandwich, chicken tenders, buffalo chicken fries, ooh, and a foot long hot dog. And that's what they look like. Oh, okay, this is where you can come to grab coffee. That's good to know. And then they have chips, some grab and go sandwiches, salads, a brownie chocolate cake, a cupcake, fresh fruit, ice cream over here. Not included with all day dining. Looks like some candy and some bottled beverages. Of course, they have plenty of tables that you can come sit at to enjoy your food. They have another bar over here. Oh, it's a tiki bar. Trader Turi's Tiki Bar. Here's my first look at their lazy river here at Aquatica. I'm now coming up on Ta Yumata Racer. It's a racing slide. There's a ton of slides. Looks like you go through a few loops before heading down. I'm now right in front of Walkabout Waters. Looks like this is another area for the kiddos. I'm now coming up on the Lazy River. It's called Roa's Rapids. They have a place where you can put your flip-flops or sandals. They do have life vests available. Looks like there's not that many. There's like life jackets <laughs> all over the place right now. I'm trying not to show the kids running around, but look at this pile of life jackets. <laughs> wow, there's even more life jackets throughout the Lazy River. This water slide looks like a lot of fun. Looks like there's two different sides and you can use a quick cue here. And that's something to keep in mind. If you come here on a busy day and if you're willing to pay for a premium upgrade, they do offer quick cue just like they do over at their theme parks just that way you don't have to wait in line no single riders so i'm taking it as this is a family raft attraction i do like how they have cubbies that way you can put your sandals just because like i don't like to walk around barefoot at a water park so this is really nice to have throughout the park they have another racing water attraction here i absolutely love the racing water slides and attractions at the water parks. This one is called Riptide Race. 
and it looks like you have to weigh yourself. Oh yeah, check this out. Single riders may not exceed 250 pounds. Double rider combined weight looks like can't exceed 400 pounds. Something to keep in mind here. Here's another boar called Key Reese Boar. Cocktails, beer, and food. Looks like they are closing up shop a little early. And not that far away, you can find another place to grab food called Banana Beach. I will say, this menu looks a lot better than the other menus I've been seeing. Like they have St. Louis style barbecue ribs, a banana beach barbecue burger, pulled pork sandwich, a barbecue chicken salad, buffalo chicken wrap, desserts and sides. But like every time I find a new bar or a new quick service restaurant, it looks like they are already closed and it's only 2 p.m. right now. The park doesn't close until 5 and then the park opened at 10 a.m. Kind of unusual. Maybe it's staffing. They're probably understaffed as well. Even more attractions seem to be closed today for whatever reason. These two are closed. You know, I'm kind of shocked, but not really just because it is currently spring break season right now and a lot seems to be closed here at Aquatica. As I'm overhearing the PA announcement that's being played right now, it sounds like this is a type of lazy river, but it sounds like it's more of a adventure river, but you do have to grab a tube and enjoy it as you would a traditional lazy river. Ooh, they have Dippin' Dots here. This is my childhood favorite. Every time I see Dippin' Dots, I'm like, I need to get these. Man, I feel like just about every single water attraction here at Aquatica is a racing water slide. The main beach is just right there. There's those racing water slides that I just showed you. I'm seeing so many signs saying additional seating back in this area, like there's two right here. Let's go back here and see how open and available and private these loungers are back here. I haven't really seen that many people walk back and forth over here. Yep, just like I thought. There's nobody back here. This is probably where I will set up shop for the day. Here's another attraction that's closed today. This one looks like it's been closed for a while. A Mucka Rocka. If you were interested, they do have designated smoking areas throughout the park. Dang, this one looks like a ton of fun. They have a conveyor belt that will lift your raft up. Looks like it's another family raft attraction but I mean holy cow there's a lot going on here let me kind of walk over here so you guys can see they have a giant funnel right there look at that oh no rain rain stay away we have a little bit of rain in the forecast but it was only like 20 percent I uh really don't know how to say this I was just debating in my head should I even discuss this on camera? Hey guys, sorry for the quick cut. I know the last clip I was at Aquatica enjoying my day and now I'm back home in my office as I'm still waiting for all of my furniture to be delivered. I uh, really don't know how to tell you the story I'm about to try to tell you because it's a little disturbing what I saw at Aquatica the day I was filming this. Honestly, I feel a little uncomfortable talking about it, but I have debated over the last few days. Now, this video was actually filmed a few days ago, and I just had to kind of think about how I wanted to end this video, and I'm going to try to explain it the best that I can. But I just want you guys to know, I know my voice may have sounded pretty off during this video. I'm not sick. It's just the pollen has been so incredibly high throughout the entire state of Florida over the last few weeks. And it's really affecting me. And I never had issues with allergies before. I just feel like because I'm getting older, my body is changing and I've had good days and I've had bad days. And as I was driving to Aquatica, I just started to get this pressure headache and my throat started itching and I just started coughing. And I feel like looking back at this day now, that was my sign to turn around and just go home. But I still decided to pull over. I went to Starbucks. I got me some hot tea to try to help, which it did. But 
If you were wondering, that's why my voice sounded off. I promise I was not sick. Now, before I go into greater detail about what I saw on this day at Aquatica, I'm going to have to be a little bit vague because like I said, I feel very uncomfortable as a person having to film myself talk about what I saw at this water park. So I am a firm believer on you get what you pay for. Now take that whichever way you want to take it, but I just believe in that saying. And like I said, I never had the urge to visit Aquatica just because I have heard some horror stories about this park, but I've also heard some good things. And the day I was filming this, I was so excited to be there finally. And I was walking around the park, giving you guys a brief tour and also just trying to find my way around. And they had some really good looking water slides and I never got to <laughs> ride these water attractions. I never got inside of the lazy river, which that's going to lead me to what I saw. I was getting ready to go purchase a $30 locker, but I wanted to try to get back to the back lockers because I don't think anybody knew there were lockers over there. So I was making my way back. I was passing by the entrance to the lazy river. I just noticed like a big, not like a big, but like a, a good amount of people conjugated like they saw something crazy, creepy. I, it's very hard for me to explain this. And I've really thought about how I was going to tell this story over the last few days. And I'm still not 100% clear on how to tell this story. But so I, I, I was curious. I started to walk closer to the entrance of the lazy river. And I, I saw a, a, a child and it wasn't a toddler. I feel like he had to be six, seven, eight years old. I witnessed this kid using the bathroom right there at the entrance of the <laughs> lazy river. And the parents were there. The parents weren't doing anything. And there was a lifeguard on the right side, kind of on a ledge. And there was another lifeguard in front of the lazy river where you enter. So there were two lifeguards right there. And then it was happening like kind of right there in the middle, kind of off to the side just a little bit. But both lifeguards, they were both looking at the situation and they did nothing. They just looked at each other and continued with their day. Now, I want to be clear here. I know this can happen anywhere, at any water park, at any theme park, at any resort pool. This is, like I said, it's just very uncomfortable. It's very weird. I wasn't sure if I was going to upload this video or try to make a video, but I just remembered, you know, this is what I do. This is my job. This is what my channel is about, is me going to these theme parks, water parks, cruises, hotels, etc., and just taking you with me to show you my day and my experience and also trying to help you guys out when you travel here to Central Florida or whatever I'm doing. I just want you guys to know, I know this can happen anywhere, but the fact that this this person was in this lazy river with other families other kids other adults full-blown going to the bathroom not number one number two inside of the water and then i'm seeing two lifeguards do nothing and i'm looking at the people around me and everybody's just in total shock. And I, I looked away because I, I, I don't want to see this. So I started walking back. I was having a conversation with a lady and um, she was just like, yeah, I'm taking my kids and I'm leaving. This is something I've never seen or witnessed before. It was disturbing. It was disgusting. But I did kind of hang out in that general area for 
maybe five-ish minutes because I just wanted to see, are these lifeguards really doing nothing about this? I've never been a lifeguard. I don't have any lifeguarding experience. I don't know their protocols or whatever. And I feel like if this were to happen anywhere else, like on Disney Cruise Line or at a Disney water park or a Disney resort or Volcano Bay or Cabana Bay for that matter, I feel like the lifeguards would blow their whistles and get everybody out of that pool to clean it up. But it just did not happen on this day at Aquatica. But I just feel like this is strike number three for me with SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. And I just want to, oh, before I get into that, on the way out, I was walking on the side of the lazy river and I saw something else that was very disturbing that was floating in the water that shouldn't have been there and that's something that women use that's all that I'm going to say it was just floating and then you have other things floating by the entrance it just it wasn't a good sight I was ready to get the heck out of there which I did and going back to this being strike number three for me with SeaWorld I want to take Discovery Cove out of that scenario and I want to take Busch Gardens out as well because those two places to me are awesome. Discovery Cove is awesome, but it's because you're paying a high amount to be at Discovery Cove. So I would imagine and hope you would get that top notch service at Discovery Cove, which I have before. And then Busch Gardens, I've never had a bad day at Busch Gardens. All of the team members always usually seem to be in a good mood, good spirits. But you know, just with SeaWorld and going back to my recent video a few weeks ago when the family went out to SeaWorld, there's just no order, there's no management, and there's no leadership. And you cannot operate a theme park, a water park, and not have order. But I will give SeaWorld some credit because the world that we live in right now, there's just a lot going on, especially with employment and finding employees are just hard right now. It's very hard when you're not paying your cast members, your team members, your employees well, that way they can survive. And I will give credit where credit is due to Universal because they recently increased their starting average to $17 an hour and then if you've been with the company you're getting some type of raise or bonus and then I'm not going to get into what is happening over at Disney with the cast members it's just not right and it's just very frustrating as a fan and as somebody who has supported a company for so long seeing a company treat their cast members the way they are treating them and like I said, I'm not getting into it. I just don't know, guys. <laughs> I, I have never seen anything like this ever in my life. And I've been covering theme parks here on YouTube since 2015. And then even before that, before I was making YouTube videos, I was visiting theme parks all the time. And I have never seen anything like I saw at Aquatica. Yeah, I think from here, I'm going to cancel my SeaWorld annual pass and I'm just going to stay at Busch Gardens because I just don't see myself returning to Aquatica anytime soon. I would like to get out to SeaWorld to ride Pipeline, but from that last visit, I don't really see us going back anytime soon. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll leave on this note. This day really made me re-appreciate Disney a lot more because I guarantee you this would not have happened at Disney. Like I said, this incident could happen anywhere, but how it was handled, that's what kind of told me to leave because I wasn't getting in the water after that. And if they let this type of stuff just sit and not clean it up, I can't imagine what else is around the water park. And that's just why I decided to leave. And I'm so happy I decided to leave. I don't see myself returning. And like I was saying, it just made me appreciate Disney a lot more, even though I don't agree with a lot that they're doing right now. And that's kind of why there hasn't been that many 
Disney World videos from me just because like I have little to no motivation going to Disney right now when just as a company they're doing all this but you know that's why I prefer Disney Cruise Line Universal I mean they're really stepping up their game over there and I feel like they've been beating Disney since 2020 when the parks reopened from the pandemic and everything I just feel like Universal they have been doing a wonderful job over there and they continue to grow and I can't wait to see Epic Universe and I think that's it <laughs> that's why the video cut like that and you guys know what is going on I do feel a lot better today so I'll end with that Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. I love you guys so much. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out.